Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it is Sunday. It's 9.40. And tonight is the Tina Lachey concert. I, like, just woke up. My hair is... I don't even... style for the concert tonight i'm not gonna get dressed yet because it's only like one o'clock i think i honestly don't know what time it is but um yeah i just wanted to do my hair and then i have a couple stuff that i need to do before i leave um so i just wanted to do my hair but this is the we have to have a clear bag right so i got this bag off of amazon it's actually a pretty good size. I just got the smaller one of the two. There's like two different sizes. So I just got the small one. But it's actually a pretty nice, like it's pretty good quality. It has a zipper in the front and then a zipper for the big part. So it's pretty good quality. I'm not like, it's a clear bag. You can't really mess up clear bags. But um, yeah, that's that. Uh, I just need to water some plants and then I tried reading today, but I like, I think I finally cracked. <laughs> um, if you guys have like listened to my podcast, then you probably know that I hate reading. And um, I've been reading Little Woman with my older sister and I just like lost it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. This is literally like the worst thing anybody ever has to do ever. And I was just like, it was kind of sad, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll probably start reading again in a bit, but I was just like, I hate reading. I thought, I'm, I'm glad that I got so like far into it though. And um, I definitely tried my best, so. Um, I guess I'm just gonna start watering some plants and then um, I need to do the dishes and I'm really hungry. I might go to Trader Joe's, I don't know. Now I'm starting to like hate my hair. <laughs> and I'm just like... Anyways, I'm gonna make some garlic rice and dumplings for lunch. invented garlic he really did something because who would have thought of that i wouldn't i wouldn't have thought about that but he was like garlic and i gotta love him hallelujah bring you guys <laughs> but look look at that Alrighty, so we got the food I'm watching Bleach right now, and on. one more round. Bring it on. I'm watching Bleach right now, and um, just eating. Got my water. Sick vibes.
the next day um, after the concert and I, um, yeah, I met Tinashe and the opening act was actually Ray Ami, who I knew like one song of her. She came up in like my Discover Weekly, I think. Um, but I didn't realize it was her. Like she was doing her set and I was like, this girl's pretty cool. And then the song that I did know um, came on and I was like, I was like, wait, I actually, do, I do know this girl. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so I got to meet both of them when I met Tinashe. It was, it happened so fast, but I was like practicing what I was gonna say in my head. And I was just like, I told her I was like, your album, like Songs For You, really got me through a lot of stuff. And like, I was like, you just mean, like your music means a lot to me. And she was like, yeah, it, it got me through a lot too. <laughs> and um, yeah, I was just, we, we took a picture and I was like standing so awkwardly. <laughs> and then the concert happened and I actually met some really cool people. A person that I was standing in line with, um, shout out to my boy, Chris uh yeah we like um we just like kind of hung out for the whole concert and then once we got to the once we got inside um and we were like right in the front we were literally on like the barricade um and then the people that were behind us they were so sweet too and like we all just like were kind of like talking as we were like waiting for the show and we like followed each other on Instagram and like they were so nice and um yeah it was a really good time and the crowd was so amazing too like she Tinashe is an incredible performer she's an incredible dancer and singer and she's just like so talented it's like it, it blows my mind that she's not like as popular as like she should be you know what I mean um like when Tuan came out she was so like she blew up and it's like why hasn't she stayed blown up like this woman is so freaking talented and it's like people need to give this woman a recognition because she needs it um but it was the greatest show of my life and like the greatest night of my life and yeah and then after the concert we were standing in line for merch and Ray Ami had come out and me and the guy Chris that I had met that day, um, we were like, oh my gosh, like we should go over and say hi. Um, so we went to talk to her and we took pictures with her and she was so nice. And um, yeah, she was just like, she was such also a very powerful like performer and for her to be like the opening act for Tinashe, it worked out perfectly. Like they have like the same type of energy, like just so like lively and just so entertaining to watch. And yeah, she was so nice. And she like kind of like gave me some advice, which was really awesome. And she's just so interactive with like her fans too, because like um, I had posted the picture that we took together on my story and then she reposted it on her story and then um and I told her I was like I DM'd her on Instagram and I was like because I saw it so I DM'd her and I was like I don't remember what I said but I was like thank you again for like your advice like it really meant a lot to hear and she sent me like a freaking voice memo and I was like oh my god this woman <laughs> And then even like Tinashe, like she was like watching everyone's stories, like the group of people that I was around, like she saw all of our stories, like posting about her. And that's not the first time that she saw my story because when I first bought the ticket, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw this, but when I first bought my ticket for the concert too, I had um, tagged her and she saw that. So I just love how like they were both such great performers and they're so nice and so sweet. And um yeah, like, I've talked about Tinashe a million times before, but, like, ever since, like, Tuan came out and she debuted, I've been, like, the biggest fan of Tinashe. Like, even her unreleased stuff, I was a huge fan of. And, yeah, like, I talk about her all the time, and I'm always, like, posting about her and everything. And so, um, yeah, it was literally, like, I literally started, like, tearing up during one of her songs like I was just like watching her and I was just like oh my god it's her 
and um yeah and she like waved at me because she like came up close and I was like waving at her and she waved back and I was like we were looking at each other and we were like oh my god and then like, the girl that was next to me um Alejandra shout out Alejandra she was like oh my god she waved at you and you weren't even recording and I was like it's fine I was recording in my head like I'll remember this in my mind forever <laughs> and so um but yeah like she was just so nice and so wonderful and she was everything I hoped that she would be so <laughs> um yeah it was insane it was amazing and um I can't wait for the next tour <laughs> I like had like blacked out I guess because like my one of my favorite songs by Tinashe is Save Room for Us and the show like ends and I was like oh my god she never performed like Save Room for Us and I was like that makes me kind of sad and then I'm going through my freaking like videos that I took and she I literally have a video of her performing it and I was like what was I on like did I black out because I was just so shook like I was like, what? Like, I guess I was just so excited to see, like, my favorite song by her that I just, like, blacked out and I forgot that she even performed it. But, um, yeah, she just did everything. Like, she did both of her newest albums. She did her old stuff. And it was just, like, it was so freaking amazing. Yeah. So, greatest song of my life. Don't hurt my heart.